Mitosis is a process of nuclear division in eukaryotic cells. One nucleus becomes two genetically identical nuclei. This progression is split into the stages of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Mitosis conserves chromosome number by distributing replicated chromosomes equally to each of the daughter nuclei. However, mitosis is only the M phase of the cell cycle. Interphase accounts for about 90% of the cycle and is divided into G1, the S phase, and G2. During these three subphases, the cell grows by creating proteins and cytoplasm organelles. During G2 of interphase, a nuclear envelope bounds the nucleus, which contains one or more nucleoli. Replication of a single chromosome forms two centromeres. During the S phase, the chromosomes have not yet condensed. However, in prophase, the chromatin fibers become more tightly coiled and condense into chromosomes. Also during prophase, the nucleoli disappear and the duplicated chromosomes appear as two identical sister chromatids joined at their centromeres and all along their arms by cohesins. The mitotic spindle also begins to form. The centrosomes move away from each other and are propelled by the lengthening microtubules between them. Next is prometaphase, in which the nuclear envelope fragments and the microtubules extending from each centrosome can now enter the nuclear area. In this phase, the chromosomes condense more and each of the two chromatids of the chromosome have a kinetic core, which is a specialized protein structure at the centromere. Kinetic core microtubules move the chromosomes back and forth, while non-kinetic core microtubules interact with those from opposite poles of the spindle. In metaphase, the longest stage of mitosis, the centrosomes are at opposite ends of the poles of the cell while the chromosomes assemble on the imaginary metaphase plate equidistant from the two poles. The chromosome centromeres lie on this metaphase plate. The kinetic cords of every sister chromatid are attached to the kinetic core microtubules coming from opposite poles. Next, during anaphase, the shortest stage, cohesion proteins are cleaved, allowing the two sister chromatids of each pair to part abruptly so each becomes a full-blown chromosome. The two daughter chromosomes start to move to opposite ends of the cells while their kinetic core microtubules shorten centromere first. The cell stretches as the non-kinetic core microtubules lengthen. By anaphase's end, both ends of the cell have alike and complete chromosomes. During telophase, two daughter nuclei form in the cell and nuclear envelopes arise from the fragments of the parent cell's nuclear envelope and other parts of the endomembrane system. The nucleoli reappear and the chromosomes become less condensed. By late telophase, the division of cytoplasm is in progress. The two daughter cells appear shortly after mitosis end. Meiosis is the process by which our bodies produce gametes, or eggs and sperm. Meiosis is variation of cell division that produces different daughter cells with only one set of chromosomes, or half as many chromosomes as the parent cell. This process occurs in the gonads, which are ovaries for women and testes for men. In each generation, meiosis reduces the chromosome number from 46 to 23, or from two sets to one. When fertilization occurs, the gametes fuse together to form two sets, or 46 chromosomes. This process is accountable for a heredity and variation from one person to another. In prophase 1, chromosomes condense and homologs loosely pair along their lengths. Crossing over, or the exchange of corresponding segments of DNA molecules by non-sister chromatids, is completed while homologs are in synapsis, held tightly together by proteins along their lengths. Synapsis ends in mid-prophase and chromosomes in each pair move slightly apart. Centrosome movement, spindle formation, and nuclear envelope breakdown occur just as in mitosis. In late prophase 1, microtubules from either pole attach to the kinetic core, and the homologous pairs move toward the metaphase plate. Metaphase 1, the pairs of homologous chromosomes are arranged at the metaphase plate with one chromosome from each pair facing each pole. Both chromatids of the homolog are attached to the kinetic core microtubules from one pole, while the other homolog is attached to the opposite pole. In anaphase 1, the proteins responsible for sister chromatid co cohesion break down and homologs separate, moving toward opposite poles in the form of sister chromatids. In telophase 1, each half of the cell has a complete haploid set of replicated chromosomes, each composed of two sister chromatids. Cytokinesis occurs simultaneously with telophase 1, forming two haploid daughter cells. Now for meiosis 2. Remember that no replication occurs between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, and now each process occurs with two cells instead of one. In prophase 2, a spindle apparatus forms and chromosomes, still composed of two chromatids associated at the centromere, move toward the metaphase 2 plate. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes are positioned at the metaphase plate just as in mitosis. The two sister chromatids are not identical because of the crossing over that occurred during meiosis 1. The kinetic cores of sister chromatids are connected to spindle fibers from opposite poles. In anaphase 2, the chromatids separate as the proteins holding them together are broken down. Finally, the chromatids move towards opposite poles as individual chromosomes. In telophase 2 and cytokinesis, nuclei form, chromosomes begin to decondense, and cytokinesis occurs. Mitosis and meiosis are similar in that they are both procedures of cell division and both require DNA replication during interphase, before the first stages of the processes begin. However, they are different in that mitosis has only one set of cell divisions and meiosis has two. 
In mitosis, two daughter cells are produced, each with a diploid number of chromosomes and identical to the parent cell. In meiosis, four daughter cells are produced, containing half as many chromosomes as the parent cell, or a haploid number of chromosomes. They are also genetically different from the parent cell. Overall, mitosis enables growth in the animal body from a zygote to an adult by producing cells for growth repair and asexual reproduction. Meiosis, though, produces gametes in the animal bodies and reduces the number of chromosomes by half while introducing genetic variability among the gametes.